finally here, the start of the Great Glen Way. <laughs> it took me about seven hours in the car. It's 12 o'clock, Monday the 3rd of September. Off I go. I've literally only been going, it must have been about five minutes, and this cute little old lady walked past me. And she's like, where are you going? I said, Inverness. It's going to take you quite a long time, isn't it? I said, yes. <laughs> she was so cute. I've just made it to Soldier's Bridge. And one thing, if you're ever walking the Great Glen Way in Scotland, don't get confused by this sign here. I got lost for about 10 minutes walking around um, Fort William, thinking that that meant go left and that meant go right. No, it doesn't. It's part of the symbol. So wherever that sign is, just keep going. <laughs> oh gosh, I don't think I'm ever going to get to Inverness. But yes. At Soldier's Bridge, everything's going well, beautiful weather, and oh, I couldn't have asked for a nicer day to be honest. There's something that keeps freaking me out. I don't know what it is. There's like um, a popping sound, and I'm sure it's coming from this type of bush here. But it's like cracking constantly, as if someone's setting off those little firework things. Absolutely beautiful this route so far. I've walked through the, the town bit to start with and now I'm walking just alongside the canals here and I've just stopped for some lunch so I'm having a, a tofu sandwich with cucumber. It's tofu pate with um, red peppers and tomatoes and things like that in it so it's really really tasty. Yeah I couldn't be happier right now and especially the fact that I've found this bench as well to sit on so yeah. all going good so far <laughs> so I've just arrived at Neptune's staircase which is eight locks that take the Caledonian Canal 90 meters above sea level which is where it started and apparently it takes a boat about an hour and a half to get all the way up which I can actually believe, considering how long that that boat over there has been there. So, yeah, that's my journey along the Neptune staircase. over how pretty it is here and so quiet. I've just been walking along this canal for about an hour and it's, there's just nobody here at all. It's so so beautiful, so so peaceful and I, I honestly cannot get over how nice the weather has been today. I think I'm one of the luckiest people around at the moment because I've passed a few locals and they're like we never have it this nice. It's never normally so sunny and so lovely. The pack's hurt in a little bit, but I'm not used to carrying a heavy backpack. I've been used to carrying a day pack. So all of a sudden my body's got about 14 and a half, 15 kilos on it. It's not used to that. But I do have six days worth of food, three liters of water, everything I need for the whole week. So as the days go on and the mileage will get longer, my pack will get lighter as well, which is really good. The menu tonight is Mexican beans with couscous. This place is so amazing. I'm whispering because there's someone else at the camp, but look where I'm camped tonight. This is the locks. There's my campsite over there. There's my tent. I'm around it. The, the yellow one. <laughs> and this is the view that we've got. There is 
lot of um, midges here. But oh my gosh, it's so quiet. There's a really nice guy that was staying, who manages this lock, this bridge here. It's called the Swing Bridge. And he's left the door open in his room so we can use the toilet if we need to in the night, which is really, really good. I wasn't expecting that at all. And before, when we were here, we helped them do a swing bridge. So here, it's where the key goes. And the actual swing bridge opened up like that. Um, and he got us doing it, which was really fun. That was before dinner, while my food was hydrating again, or rehydrating. Oh, it's so peaceful. It's really, really lovely. It is a bit cold, so I've got my thermals on. But, yeah, this is, this is home for the night. Beautiful. Oh.